Hello everyone, this is me Satya and I'm doing your uh, weekend reading for all the star signs. Uh, I will definitely put uh, timestamps for the signs in the description box. And this reading is going to start uh, from 24th till 26th of August 2018. Um, I will pull just two cards. So let's see what's coming up for this weekend for all the star signs. I will start with the Scorpio first. So let's see what are the energies coming up for Scorpio and their love department of their life. So let's see. King of Cups and then comes the Page of Cups. Wow, at the bottom of the deck you do have uh, the Hero Fan. Um, um, I do pick up the energies of, uh, you, I do pick up the energies that you have decided about your, uh, it's more like the, the energies I'm picking up with this King of Cups is more like, you know, that of, uh, and then, you know, paired with the Page of Cups. It's more like you now have the clarity of which way you want to go for when it comes to your love life because um it's it's more like you are sure that yes this is the person i want to go for and then you approaching them and it's it's like you don't have any doubt right now in your mind about this person or this relationship that you are you know looking uh or, you know, the relationship that you have or the person that you have in your mind right now. Because it's like you're so sure that this is the person I want to go for. And this is the person you want to have in your life as your uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, husband, wife. And it's it's like with that surety, with that um, uh, clarity of mind and with that feeling for this person, you are going to reach out to this person and tell them that, okay, fine, now I'm ready to go for it. And then um, things will happen. Uh, I cannot pick up the energies of, you know, things happening smoothly for you because it's more like, um, can you see the bottom of this or the background of this card? It's like, it's like unstable energy. And once you, uh, you know, once you offer this love, it will get better than the situation though, but it's still not going smoothly and I don't see it will go smoothly anytime soon because um, it's, it's more like you want to offer this cup of love with all the passion in the world that you have for this person. But again, when you are about to offer your cup of love, you uh, you kind of... I don't know why I'm picking up the energies of you kind of, you know, getting stuck thinking about something that bothers you at times regarding this person. And it's like, you know, the way this person is looking at the fish there, it's it's like um, there is one thing that you are not sure about if you if you could take that along with this. Uh, it's like this person is coming in a complete package and you don't know how you would if you would be able to work that, you know, thing that you don't want in this person or not. And it's like you, one time you want to offer this person and the other time it's like you are just, you know, um, giving it a second thought. And um, even though I pick up the energies of you, uh, you will definitely reach out to this person. But um, I don't know why I'm picking up the energies of you want to reach out to this person because now you know things gonna move ahead in your life if and only if you kind of you know reach out to this person and offer your cup of love to this person otherwise you will be stuck in the situation that you are in right now and that is why you're kind of going back and forth um about this proposal you know that you have to do to this person i will take one card from uh, one more card from the top of the deck so let's see what's coming up after the page of cups would you be able to you know offer this cup during this weekend time or not Seven of Swords. So I do pick up the energies of you um, running away again. It's like that kind of energy that I'm picking up. <sighs> um, 
I will take clarifier for both the page of cups and then the seven of swords. For some of you, I'm picking up the energies of you are ready to offer the cup of love to this person. And then this person kind of reach out to you and you are like, no, I don't want this person. It's like, you know, you have that kind of tendency of. Um, and that's the one thing you don't like about them, that they, you know, they tend to come back to you and you don't want that to happen. You want um, you want them to give you time to decide on them so so that you don't, you know, get away um you don't, you know, kind of uh, run away from this person. So for those of you who are Scorpions and who are, you know, um, cross watcher here. So I would do suggest you for those of you who are involved with Scorpions, don't reach out to them. Give them, them uh, give them their time because they need some time to decide on it. And if you approach to them before they could reach out to you, they will kind of, you know, you will push them away because scorpions are, um, they think from other, you know, they have their own, um, um, they, they go about things their own way and they, they do have the content of ego very strongly in them and they want things to be going the way they have planned or they want to, you know, go about them. They don't want, um, <clears throat> it, it's more like just give them time if if you are uh dealing with a scorpio then give it to, give them some time let them come to you before you know because if you go to them they will kind of you know run away from you so um let me take a clarifier for the page of cups and one clarifier for the seven of uh, swords i will do it quickly because i didn't want it to be that long Hmm. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. There you go. It's like it's more like you know, if you reach out to them, uh they if you know if you miss them and you reach out to them, they would kind of run away from you because that is one thing that kind of you know, uh maybe they uh, that is something that annoys them. So don't do that. Uh, give them time, let them miss you and let them come to you because it's like it's going either ways. Like, you know, since it's a general reading, it can go either way. So you don't have to be the one um, going to scorpions. Let them come to you because they are ready to offer you their cup to you. But if you reach out to them, they will kind of run away from you. So don't do that. Give them, give them some time and let them miss you and let them come to you because otherwise they will... Um, if you approach them, they will run away. If you don't approach them, they will have sleepless nights and they will come back to you. So that's pretty much it. Coming up for uh, Scorpions for these um, three days, starting from 24th of August till uh, 26th of August 2018. And this is this was your weekend reading. So let's see what's coming up for Pisces for this weekend. And I will try to make it a little short because... It got a bit too long. I was expecting it to go a little um <clears throat> so anyways, let's see what are the energies coming up for Pisces for this weekend. I don't know why I'm s I, I could see um black screen um uh, black screen is all i could see when i close my eyes usually i don't see images like that but i just saw a black screen or something closing my eyes it's like for those of you who are uh, waiting on to receive a message from somebody um uh, don't wait for that because i i i kind of you know got the uh, comments also on the videos that you know i haven't received the message so um don't check your phone again and again let that come to you easily don't resist the flow of uh, um of things of the universe because if you kind of sit back i have mentioned that for all signs uh, i think at least once uh don't if you want something to happen in your life don't feel the lack of it and let it come to you because if you um if you feel the lack of it you will attract more of the lack to your life so let's see what's coming up for Pisians for this weekend starting from 24th till 26th. Ace of Cups and the Fool card. Wow. 
at the bottom of the deck you do have the knight of swords so i believe the communication is happening between uh, you and the person that you are dealing with and uh, i believe i mentioned it in the start that this is going to be a love reading um for all the signs so um so yeah uh you do have the ace of cups and then you do have the full card uh so it's it's more like um For those of you who are uh, who are dealing with a Scorpio, I would you know just mention that because um, in the last reading that I did for uh, for uh, for all signs, I did mention that the Spicean people do have tendency of uh, being with uh, being involved with uh, some scorpions there so it's it's like for those of you who are involved with the scorpion like i mentioned in their reading don't um don't reach out to them give them time leave them uh you know the the way they are and let them come to you because it's it's more like the um the more you kind of you know try to reach out to them or the more you kind of wait for them things will get um you will kind of distance yourself from the uh from what you desire actually to happen in your life so don't do that uh let the cup of love come to you because it's it's more like for those of you who are trying to reach out to your uh partner and uh, have been getting negative response uh don't uh don't uh, you know try to contact them again let them be and try to um act as if you are a child who um who is as free as joyful as anybody else you know anybody in the world could be it's it's more like you know the uh, the full card here is kind of you know the very uh childish fresh energetic person who is um who is not thinking about different things like you know um all he or all this fool knows is how to have fun having faith with whatever the universe is going to bring to them so be be act like a fool um fool as in not a fool but it's it's more like you know the people who watch tarot for you know uh, regularly they know what i'm uh, what i mean by saying the fool uh, it's more like you know um don't fear them don't fear anything about this particular relationship don't have um, doubts go about this relationship with 100% faith and 0% doubt and trust me uh, for those of you for you know for who uh, the offer has not come yet if you start doing this if you kind of you know let go of your fears let go of your doubts let go of everything negative that is kind of you know stopping you from having this offer uh you are going to receive this love offer definitely it's it's more like you need to put in the effort and the effort that you're going to put it put in this particular situation would be um you start enjoying um your life the way you should be enjoying rather than you know waiting on for this person or waiting on for anything in the world it's like be thankful for what and who you are and what you have and let things kind of you know bring you more positivity in your life and it's it's more like it's uh, i'm sure you know many of you might have experienced it already in your life that you know once you kind of uh, break up suppose if you break up and the moment you come out of this you know uh, painful cycle that you go after soon after the breakup thing your ex or whoever you uh, once wished to get back once you kind of you know let go of that feeling or that needing phase of you uh where you want this person so bad once you come out of that thing the other person you know reaches out to you it's like a common thing that happens you could see if, if it has not happened with you you might have seen many people telling you this that you know they left them and then uh once you kind of move uh move on with your life the other person come back in your life so that's exactly what you need to do you need to you know um stop keeping them on uh your priority list once you kind of you know decrease their importance in your life that person will suddenly you know just pop up in your life again so um for some of you um not for m most of you but for some of you I'm doing, uh, I I do pick up the energies of receiving a love offer from somebody new and uh, because it's ace of cups and then it's the fool card so it's always a new beginning and um 
for some of you you will be receiving a love offer uh, like i mentioned in the 20 to 31st reading also that you might be receiving a love offer from somebody new and uh, and for those of you who want your ex back or something then it could be that person too but for um but whoever you know that person whoever will come in your life be, be that you know somebody new be that uh, your ex if you want to have this thing coming your way you need to love yourself take care of yourself and you need to um stop chasing people stop chasing this person stop chasing anything stop needing them because once you are you know free from that state of needing them or needing anything in your life and you are you know getting easy going with everything in your life that's when the life gives you all that you desire in abundant flow so you have to do exactly that so that's coming up for you for this weekend um <clears throat> If you do receive the love offer, do let me know in your comments uh, and do like, subscribe and share if the reading resonated with you. So let's see um, what's coming up for cancers, uh, Cancerians for uh, this weekend starting from 24th till 26th of August. <clears throat> I'll pull just two cards. So let's see what's coming up for Cancerians. What are the energies coming up for them for their love life? Queen of Pentacles and then comes the Eight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Five of Pentacles. For um, I do, pick, uh, do, I do pick up the energies of you taking care of yourself. You are staying busy with your work or, you know, working on yourself. It's more like um, you are... Uh, this weekend is more like, you know, you spending time with um, with yourself. It's more like you don't want to deal with any kind of drama in your life. So you either want to stay busy if you're not happy in a relationship. You might choose to stay at work rather than having a day off. And that's the energy I'm picking up with the Eight of Cups here. Because <coughs> excuse me. Because if you are um if you're kind of, you know, if you don't have anybody in your life, or if you're not happy with that person that you have in your life, then um you would choose to, you know, stay on the work side because you have nothing to you don't look up you don't look for anything you know it's it's more like you're not um uh, you would not wait to go back home because you don't have anybody staying there waiting for you so it's that's it's that kind of the energy that i'm picking up with this eight of cups paired with the queen of pentacles and at the bottom of the deck you do have the five of pentacles so i do pick up the energy of you being alone you being either single or you being either you know out for work somewhere else and your family or your loved ones is not nearby so it's like a lonely weekend for you that's the energy i'm picking up for you people for this weekend um so that's pretty much it i will now take the card for the aquarians so let's see what's coming up for aquarius for this weekend <clears throat> of wands and then comes the high priestess at the bottom of the deck you do have the star card and with the high priestess and the star card it's it's more like um <clears throat> with the three of wands here paired with the high priestess and the star underneath it's it's more like um you are uh waiting you are waiting to receive um the love that you might have prayed for you might have kind of you know um asked from the universe to give you it's more like you you believe you have done all the work that you that was you know supposed to be done by you and it's like now you just um waiting from the uh 
now you're just ready to have this uh you know person in your life and it's more like you you are you know um you might be praying a lot you might be uh visiting your um your religious houses and it's more like um um for most of you i believe why i'm saying most of you because with this with the high priestess here and um star card underneath for most of you i do believe you will be uh your intuition will be very strong during this weekend time and um you might be getting signs from the universe itself and it's like um even if you could not see what's coming up for you you could see or you could you know have the feeling of it coming your way through your dreams through different signs coming from the universe be that through uh through um the numbers that you would see, you would be seeing during this uh weekend or you might be you know you might meet someone and it's like they say something that kind of clicks your mind and it's like you know you would feel like okay so it's kind of a sign from the universe to me it's like that kind of energy that i'm picking up coming for you for this weekend and um <clears throat> And I do believe most of you are um, trying to manifest a relationship or trying to manifest something good in this uh, particular relationship that you are in right now for those of you who are already in a relationship and you are just waiting on for um, things to manifest and you have done your work and now you are kind of patiently waiting for it. Um, for those of you who are kind of getting a little impatient, be patient and let things flow to you because um like I, like i said earlier in this reading um for Pisces, i think i mentioned it don't wait on for something uh to come your way just standing there or just sitting there and kind of you know checking your phone again and again like you know why the message is not coming why this person has not called me yet and everything because that kind of uh, that way you kind of block the energy that is coming your way because you start having doubts you start having fear you start having negative thoughts so that's when the natural flow of goodness stops coming your way so don't do that stay positive be patient keep on meditating keep on praying let good things flow into your life don't kind of block the energies by you know doing nothing and kind of sitting like this and you know check your phone again and again and like you know be like why the message has not you know arrived yet so don't do that let things happen um and definitely things will happen when the time is right so that's pretty much it coming for you for this weekend so uh if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share so let's see what's coming up for um gemini for this uh weekend starting from the 24th till 26th Three of Pentacles and the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Seven of Pentacles. So I, I believe you are uh, trying to work out the... Um, uh, for those of you who are single right now, um, you might meet a lot of people. You might be open to meet lots of people to have, uh, you know, to you might meet people and you would, you would have many options to choose from actually. And it's like, you might be going on a gathering. You might be, you know, um, um, you might meet the right person there, but I don't see you picking one at this point in time in life because it's more like you are going out, you are being, you know, um, open to socialize with new people meet them and then it's it's more like you you don't want to decide on any person right now it's more like you just want to keep your options open so you could um you could you know um just to have you know more options to choose from it's more that kind of a feeling that i'm picking up you don't want to um you might have you know come out of a relationship recently and it's like you don't want to get into one uh get into another one uh, that soon so it's it's more like you are kind of just hanging out with new people um i didn't pick up the energies of you dating anybody as of now during this weekend but yeah you are kind of keeping the option open for you and so you could you could you know choose when the time is right or when you feel the person is right for you 
so it's like that kind of energy coming up for you for this weekend um starting from the 24th till 26th of august so that's pretty much it for you if the reading resonated with you do like subscribe and share so let's see what's coming up for um libra now <clears throat> For this weekend, starting from 24th till 26th for the Libras. Chariot. And Seven of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Four of Pentacles. So I feel like um, um, you would be unable to maintain a balance here with this uh, work and love life here. And... You would not be able to come out of this work load that you have. And it's like the main focus of your, you know, attention would be your work, not love life. It's like you would not be able to have more time with the one you love. It's more like I don't see any kind of, um, you know, lovey-dovey uh, energies coming up for you for this weekend. And you are kind of, you're going to be busy with the, with the, with your work, you might have gotten some, you know, some projects to deal with during this week weekend time. And it's like, you will be busy doing all that. It's like, that is the one thing that's going to be on your mind. You don't have any other thing on your mind when it comes to this weekend and your love life. Your focus is strongly at your work life. So that's what I'm picking up for you for this weekend. And, um, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy. You are kind of, you know, um, you don't need to work that, you know, hard. Go uh, with the work smarter than, you know, working harder because it, it's, it, it will drain your energy, I believe. If you, if you don't, you know, uh, take a day off from your work, it's like your life will go out of balance because you need to have the love time with uh, you need to have some private or personal time with the loved ones, uh, be that your family, be that your um, boyfriend, girlfriend, or somebody in your life. And I don't know why I'm picking up the energies that you might have, uh, you might be single for those of you who are watching, because I pick up the energies of uh, uh, obviously the most uh, people who are, who belong to the star. I do pick up the energies for, uh, for, uh, it's, it's more like, you know, the current energies of the people that I'm reading for. So it's like, and that we, that is, you know, I believe the most of you who would watch this video belong to this sign would be either single or um, would be too focused on their career right now. And they don't have anything on their mind regarding their love life or, or maybe they don't give it that much priority in their life as of now. So that's the energy coming up for you for this weekend. And since it's a love reading, I won't get into detail with this. So let's see what's coming up for Sagittarius for um, this weekend. Starting from 24th of August till 30... Uh, sorry, uh, 24th till 26th of August 2018. It's coming up for Sagittarius for this weekend, 24th till 26th of August. Two of Swords and Ten of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> For those of you who are... Um, at the bottom of the deck, you do have Queen of Cups. And underneath that, you do have Queen of Pentacles. Um... Uh, I don't pick up the energies of you kind of, um, having, um, I don't want to say that it's, it's not going to be a positive weekend for you. Maybe it, it's more like, um, I don't pick up the energies of, uh, you getting you know, energetically drained. And even though you want to spend time with the person you love, but you won't be able to do that. And why you won't be able to do that, I need to check that with the energy picking up 
uh, the, with the energy that I'm picking up with the Ten of Swords here is uh, is like you are too drained um, energy wise. You don't have any energy left to see this person, and it's like you come home late and you don't know what to do now, and it's like um, you you know you think of you know giving them time to, but then you decide no i cannot because i'm too tired and i better you know take some rest and it's that kind of energy for some of you maybe you know you might not be feeling well for this weekend because um with the ten of swords i'm picking up that kind of energy too um i will take two clar uh, clarifiers for the two of swords i wanted to take one clarifier but i said i will take two so i will take two now for the two of swords Let's see what is draining your energy here with the Two of Swords. Seven of Swords and then the King of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you do have Eight of Cups. So it seems like um, money for some of you. Very strongly, I'm picking up the work that you are involved in. Uh, might be draining your energy a bit too much maybe you your boss or whoever you work for is like um, asking you to do more and more and more work and it's like you cannot escape that and you have to do that work and it's like you cannot say no to them and um, you have to do it and that's why you are just you know you're gonna keep your cup of love to yourself this weekend and you will not be able to share this cup of love with the person you love because all you have to do is work, 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 work. So that's pretty much it coming for you for this weekend. So let's see who, who is the next sign. Leo. So let's see what's coming up for the Leos for this weekend. Start from the 24th till 26th of August. <clears throat> and this card wanted to flip out. Wheel of Fortune. I will take one more card. The Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. So at the bottom of the deck, you do have Eight of Cups. And underneath that, you do have Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So um, for those of you who recently broke up um, and who were hurt, I believe you uh, you want a quick fix to the state of mind that you are in the emotional you know broken side of you wants a quick fix and for that you choose to have the devil like um that's the only way you see to come out of this hurt or pain that you are going through right now and um with the devil card here obviously i do pick up the energies of you um 